Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today's video might be a bit long um, but what I'm going to do is basically show you a full guide into getting all 30 stars of the new Horizon story mode called the Car Files uh, which came in the recent update. Now of course you have to get 30 stars in order to progress uh, in your festival playlist so they've obviously newly added that um, but don't fear what I'm going to show you in this video is the quickest and easiest way to get three stars in all of the challenges. Now, I'm not going to speak over all of them, uh, but you will see some little notes uh, in forms of actual sort of subtitles pop up every now and again. Um, but it wasn't actually too tricky. Anyway, I'm going to let the video speak for itself from now on. If this did help you, please do tell me in the comments. Drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more. Um, but a massive thank you for everyone's support. And I hope this video helps you out. All the best, guys. Welcome to the insurance business, eh? You're going to love this. So, you are the one Joel has sent to help me, yes? Ha. Uh, my name is Hans Liebold. For 30 years, I designed and built performance vehicles in Germany, but I have come to the festival to pursue a more exciting vocation, insurance. Ha. That was a joke. I'm trying to put you at your ease. It seems I have failed. <laughs> no matter. <laughs> Let us begin. Now, the claimant in our first case poses an interesting question around acceleration and downforce. Now, if you would kindly take this Volkswagen Type 2 and attempt to make it take off. I assure you, this is uh, theoretically possible, given sufficient seat. I have set your navigation. It appears I have forgotten to close the roads to traffic. But we must reproduce conditions as closely as possible, yes? And so the claim is disproved. The Volkswagen Type 2 cannot fly. But to be truthful, I'm not surprised by the results of this experiment. But you will learn I'm nothing if not thorough. Hello, I'm pleased to see you again not merely for professional purposes, but for developing social connection. Now, this is a BMW Isetta. For its size, it is deceptively powerful and also uh, highly maneuverable, though I think perhaps not so maneuverable for the claimant who delivered theirs into the back of a furniture truck. So, if you would please test the Isetta's ability to navigate traffic whilst avoiding collisions for the experiment and for your own safety, of course. And so the claim is disproved. With sufficient driver application, the BMW Isetta may navigate even dense traffic. 
I will inform the claimant that they must simply try harder. Our next case involves an outlandish claim and a vehicle with something of a reputation here in Britain, which I believe to be undeserved. You know this, the Reliant Superfan. With some small stability enhancements, this design, in my opinion, is quite sound. You will proceed, please, to... Good, good. Now, to recreate the conditions of the accident, which resulted in a claim for damages to a church roof. You see, the fiberglass construction makes the Reliance Superfan light enough to become airborne. It lacks, I think, in aerodynamics and engine power. For this next test, I have compensated, perhaps overcompensated, <laughs> we shall see. Hmm. It occurs to me that I have added no additional safety features, but at least you will be landing on sand. It worked. I mean, of course it worked. And so we see that it is entirely possible to deposit a Reliant Superfan in the belfry of a country church. I will contact the claimant and pass on the good news. Well, the results anyway. Do you know that in my spare time I am an avid watcher of films? Oh yes, one of my favorite films sees young people having personal revelations whilst racing classic cars. See if you can tell what it is. Now, one of my claimants has apparently tried to recreate scenes of the film, which features a Morris Minor similar to this one, with limited success. They will require city conditions. Well done, you have achieved the optimal result for the first part of our test, which is, uh, I'm not so sure, this is a uniquely American word, but uh, cruising, I think, yes? Now we must test the drag race performance of the Morris Minor with a few small engine modifications of my own. This is not strictly reproducing conditions of the film, but nor is the speed trap we are borrowing from the Horizon Festival. Now, straight line speed is our object. If it helps, you may imagine you are racing against an impossibly handsome actor. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Excellent. I will advise the claimant that they may be confident lining up against an Austin Healy Sprite, as in the film. Once their Morris Minor returns from the crash repairer, of course. I must confess, I was confused by our next case involving a racing truck. I was not aware of such a term. I had to consult with Horizon to find a suitable test vehicle. Though I was not disappointed with the result. Perhaps before we begin testing, you would like a chance to, how do you say, uh, get a feel for this machine? In 100 yards, turn right. Very good. Unlike our claimant, you have passed the first test. The vehicle is not upside down. 
and insists that these so-called high-performance heavy vehicles are simply too fast to manage variable terrain. We will attempt not only to prove otherwise, but to demonstrate they are much faster than kept firmly on the road. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. Much improved acceleration over flat ground. Enhanced traction through tight corners, yes. Also, I must congratulate you on your restraint. Downhill roads provide... You see, we may dispute the claim that the racing truck cannot be controlled. Indeed, if yours was uh, refrigerated, you could quite easily deliver milk or eggs or other perishable goods. My friend, did you know that uh, video footage of our investigations is highly sought after around the festival? I was not aware so many young people were considering insurance as a career. In any case, we have a new claim and a new test vehicle, perfect for scouting our new test location. Please enjoy the scenery as well as the performance. Turn around. suitable location for a machine as rugged as this, yes? Now, allow me to explain. Our claimant has explored this very quarry in a Willis MB, similar to ours, though they have expressed dissatisfaction with their performance upgrades. Through a combination of my work and your skill, we will now set about, very politely, proving them wrong. May I suggest a more aggressive approach to navigation? You see the set nav? Please ignore this. Turn left. In 200 yards, turn left. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I will make it known to the client that the Willis MB is more than adequate to their purposes of vertical movement and visceral excitement. Hello, good day. Uh, how are you? Now that we have enjoyed the small talk, we may proceed to the next case, involving an acceleration test in normal traffic conditions. Now, this is a 1966 Volkswagen Beetle into which I have placed a 2.5-liter F4 turbo engine. 
partly to replicate the conditions of the claim, but also because I would very much like to see what happens. Our next claimant extensively modified a 1955 Chevy 150 utility sedan with a view to turning it into a rally car. This is not so far beyond the realms of possibility. The vehicle is heavy, yes, but with all-wheel drive and rally-tuned springs and dampers, it could be done. The claimant's attempt resulted, of course, in complete failure, but I am confident that ours will not. Turn around when it... All in all, a highly adequate rally car. And we should not discount the psychological effect upon the competition of being overtaken by a collector's item. Ah, greetings once again. So, we have our modified Chevy 150. Now we must test the claim that it will make a competitive rally car. I am confident in the vehicle's performance, and I have observed enough of your experimental driving technique to be confident in you also. Ah, now, you will need a co-driver, of course. This will be me. Steady incline, four-wheel drive, hold the rear end tight, that did not sound as it should. You see how those wide tires and reduced weight handle the corners? The claimant failed to grasp this. Rough ground. Trust the improved suspension. Chevrolet engine. This the claimant grasped a little too well, I think. Yeah, yeah, most satisfactory. Yourself and the car. The claimant will be pleased to know we have succeeded where they catastrophically failed. Or perhaps they will not. Have you noticed an upward trend in peculiar insurance cases since we began our work? I have noticed this. Is it possible we are, how would you say, a bad influence? And here is one such case. The claimant wishes to establish the absolute maximum capabilities and tolerances of the Myers Manx June buggy. Ah, well, if test. This will make a prime testing location. I think also 
away from prying eyes. I knew insurance would be difficult. I did not know it would be so popular. Now, the Manx here has been outfitted with the latest accelerometers, lateral G-force meters, and impact sensors. I will be using the data to build a detailed telemetric profile. All I require from you is that you drive like you have no concern for your own safety. Please accept as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you. If you had not been under strict instructions, I would be seriously concerned for your well-being. So, we have successfully established the tolerances of the Myers Max. To what end? I'm not sure. We have received no claims of damage to dune buggies, except perhaps our own. I'm afraid this case represents our last together as colleagues and work-related social companions. For the moment, as long as there is insurance, my friends, there will be bizarre insurance claims. For example, this claimant placed a 2.6-litre rotary engine inside a production Mazda Meata MX-5. As you are aware, this type of engine is more common in high-performance propeller-driven aircraft. If you would please take it and ascertain just how badly this can go wrong. The first phase of testing will be along standard country roads with mild undulations next to the coast. yourself with the howling noise. This is quite normal. Endeavor to gather more information, please.
done, but I feel we would gain further illumination with further acceleration. Do you not think so? Excellent. Now we begin the highway testing phase. Please exceed 200 miles an hour along this section for optimum data gathering. Calculations suggest a performance of this kind should result in total spontaneous engine disassembly. And yet, here you are! It was a great deal of fun, and I have you to thank. I know you are busy at the festival, I'm sure I will see more of you. But if you should ever leave, I hope you will consider a career in insurance. says you're completely adequate to his purposes, which is about the greatest compliment I've ever heard him give. I'll call if he needs you again. Hands might not show it, but he's grateful, really. He loves setting up test conditions, but he hates driving. <laughs> 